Hey guys, do it at a dime here. So it is spring fling time at the Dollar Tree. All this stuff is gonna sell out so fast, so I can't wait to share with you what I've been finding. Bins are back in the gorgeous spring colors. Now they have all the standard size bins coming back this year, but there's a few I wanted to point out to you. And the first is this paper bin. These would be great for storing paper, but the way I'm planning on using them is inside of our pantry to corral all of the cans. So if you have those wire type shelves, but you wanna have really easy access to the things in your pantry, definitely look into these bins. This would also work great inside of a cabinet for tea boxes or K-cups. The possibilities with this low profile one are really endless. This is another favorite bin of mine. These are fantastic in a refrigerator, which is how I use them. And these also work great in a pantry. So when you see some of like these office type supplies, think about other places of your house you could use them. So I just got back from the Dollar Tree and this gives you a full picture of the types of bins you can find. And my favorite part are if you get the square bin, you can stack them so they can nestle in one another, but they also have edges on the side. So you can stack them up to really maximize vertical space. I also found quatrefoil liner, vinyl liner, you'll see all all of this stuff in upcoming videos. And then these pillowcases, which I thought were so darling and would make an awesome DIY. Those were the two patterns that I really liked. And something else that I've been picking up a lot are these drawer organizers. I have some bathroom organization videos coming up for you guys, and you know how much I love these. They come three to a pack, the bigger ones come two to a pack. But when you get these, you promise me that you go to the office aisle and you also buy some poster tack. This is gonna go right on the bottom of the bins to keep them from moving around in your drawer. Never buy one without the other. Another newer find are these string tags that I have been using all around our house. You get 30 of them. 30, three zero for $1, such a great deal. This would make great gift tags, but also for organizing if you're on a really small budget. Up next are these flowers. I picked these up in the store and the woman next to me gasped because they were so beautiful. These are wisteria and I love how they just have this natural fall over like this. This is such a high quality piece for a dollar. I love making wreaths on a budget and this is a great time to get the wreath forms, the round ones and I also got this heart one which I hadn't seen before. They also have a bunch of Easter stuff out, kind of like this sparkly gilded burlap. The ribbon is insane right now, so beautiful. This pink and this sparkly purple. I was helping to plan Carson's Valentine Day party at school. If you follow me on Snapchat, you heard me ask if you guys had any tips. So here's what I grabbed for the party. These adorable heart straws, which I think three-year-olds are gonna love. I also picked up some napkins and some really cute plates. I got these foam stickers, conversation hearts, and I thought it would be cool to do a conversation heart gumball machine. The kids are gonna get one of these foam hearts from the Dollar Tree, and then they can stick on these because they're all just like peel back adhesive. And then I used Dollar Tree tree poster board to make this little gumball machine. I definitely had to make these in mass, so here's what all the templates look like. <laughs> I'm grabbing another basket. This is some random things I found, but I was so excited about because these are great finds. The first is this bathtub finger paint soap, and this is by Crayola. So excited to try this with Carson in the bath. I also picked up this Betty Crocker peeler. The quality on this is absolutely insane, and it works so well. Do you hold on to nail polish for a ridiculous amount of time? I found some nail polish I recently purged from 2003. Like, is that even safe to use? I don't know. I have always loved Wet n Wild nail polish. I've just always thought it's great. It doesn't chip very much. It's just one of those brands that's tried and true for me. So I got this really pretty white. I also got the top coat and then I got the pink so I can kind of do a little spring French manicure. Okay, next I need your ideas. I feel like I'm just like sitting here talking to a friend right now. I love haul videos and it's been way too long since I've done this. These are little bottles which you can decant product into and what you do is you push on the top part and then the product comes up to the surface. So you could put a DIY cleaning recipe in here here, push on it, and then clean the countertop really quickly. I know if I posted this video, a million of you are gonna have great ideas for what I could use these for, so definitely leave me a comment down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. I can't wait to share with you more finds from the Dollar Tree. I have so many organizing videos coming up, and if you are not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Click that subscribe button, become a part of the Do It On A Dime family. I'll see you guys in the next video. God bless you and your family. Bye, guys.